we are looking for the biggest centipede in America. And I want to see if it'll bite me. This is such a stupid idea. This is such a stupid idea. Centipedes, essentially the unholy fusion between a spider and a snake, I can see why so many people are terrified of these guys. In the US, most centipedes people come across are fairly small, but I want to find the biggest. A species so massive that it hunts rodents and even snakes. But just how big can this guy get and how willing is it to bite someone? To get these answers, I once again forfeited my social life to drive around at midnight in the middle of nowhere. But I'd sacrifice any of my Saturday nights if it meant finding the absolute monster that I'd stumble across tonight. All right, guys, tonight is a very special night because we're not looking for some trivial spider, a, a mere scorpion. No, we are looking for the big daddy of terrifying invertebrates. We are looking for the biggest centipede in America. And I don't wanna just find the biggest species. No, I wanna find like the biggest individual. We're looking for a Texas red-headed centipede and I wanna find max size. And to do that, we've come here to West Texas and this nice grassland habitat, home to many big invertebrates I've handled before, but never one quite as fearsome as this. So we're gonna cruise down this road and hopefully find the most terrifying invertebrate in all of North America. I've been wanting to find this bug for as long as I've struggled with debilitating animal nerdiness, but putting it into practice is a lot easier said than done. The centipede I'm looking for is so big that it fills the same ecological niche as a small rattlesnake, and a habitat can only support so many predators of that level. So I could spend days, weeks, even months out here and never once catch a glimpse of a- Oh my god, we actually found one. Oh my god, that, that's one right there, holy crap. Oh, it just darted into the bushes. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna get the lights, get some... I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get this thing, but uh, we're gonna make do. Wait right there. Okay, I just saw it go over there. That thing is freaking gigantic. I, I have no idea how the hell I'm supposed to net this. That is the biggest goddamn centipede I've ever seen. Like... I was expecting big, but holy crap, that thing is an actual monster. I was so shocked we found a max size centipede that I didn't really think through how I would actually catch it. I didn't have any tongs or thick gloves, so instead I would have to improvise. Using the combined might of a cheap $5 net and a collapsible Spider-Man fishing rod, I felt invincible. But once I realized there was no way in hell that net would hold the centipede for more than like two milliseconds, I was starting to lose hope. I just had one last Hail Mary tactic to catch this animal, but it comes with a high risk of getting bit. All right, guys, the centipede is tucked in this bush right here, and I've tried scrounging around with my net, all of these things, and I just cannot get him out. My last ditch resort is to use my tiny carrying case, try and scoop him up, fondle him in there. But uh, I don't have gloves, and that comes with a high risk of getting bit. Supposedly excruciatingly, unbelievably painful and it'll uh, mess me up for a while. So I'm gonna be as careful as I can be while trying to get this guy. So without further ado, I love you life, please please don't leave me. Let's, let's make this happen. Okay, right here. There he is, come on, come on, come on. Oh, so close, so close. In the box, in the box. Oh, oh my God, it happened. Oh my God, oh my God, I did it. Holy crap, that's perfect. Oh my God, look at that freaking centipede. Oh my God, I did it. Holy crap. Oh my God, he can barely fit in there. I did not think I was gonna be able to do that. Holy crap. I I'm in disbelief. Let's get to a good filming area. Oh my God, I can actually make this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the single creepiest and most terrifying invertebrate in the entire country any single land animal without a backbone hails to this guy. This is the absolute king of this habitat. What nightmare fuel. Look at how big that is. Look at how freaking big that is. That's insane. This has to be close to max size. I'm going to measure him in a bit, but man, this has to be close to eight inches. A lot of people say 12 inch. Oh, they can get up to 12 inches. In reality, eight inches is about the maximum. And this could very well be like the largest centipede in all the US. Not just 
species, but like individual, this thing is so freaking big. Look at this creepy little antenna peeking through there. Now centipedes, out of any animal, I'm the most terrified to pick up because there's no good way to pick them up. If I were to use my hands, a snake, I can, if, if it's a really aggressive one, I can hold the back of its head so it doesn't have to bite me. But with a centipede, you can't do that. If you do that, the rest of it's gonna wrap around you. Those claws, those talons on their legs are gonna squeeze, make you bleed. This thing is the most unhandleable animal in all the US. If I had someone else here, I'd be doing some, I'd be doing some shady stuff. I'd be risking a lot of stuff because uh, this is such a rare opportunity. I've been to this habitat probably close to 20 times, and this is the first time I've ever seen one. What an absolute monstrosity. Now you may be thinking, a centipede this big, the biggest centipede in the US, what's this thing eating? What's it taking down? Anything it freaking pleases. A centipede this size, it'll be going after rodents, whole mammals, mice, deer mice, shrews, anything like that. I mean, just imagine a snake, but like the platinum edition. It has legs, it can just latch onto something, constrict around, and using that venom. Now, weird thing about centipedes, it injects its venom not through fangs, not through a stinger, through its legs. So its legs are called nathopods, and those actually have the venom. And this venom, it's not, it's not gonna kill you, but it is going to hurt unbelievably bad. One of the single most painful animals in the US. So I'm, I'm very glad when I was putting it in here, I did not get screwed over. Now this species of centipede ranges all across the US, but in the deserts, in the deserts of the United States, it is, the, everything you see black would be orange and everything orange would be black. The colors are reversed, but more down south, more towards the east, the colors will be like this. But we are in west, west Texas. This is the very edge of where you'll find this color of centipede. And I'm happy we found this one. This is obviously the most impressive one. Now a centipede like this guy, you may look at it and think like, man, that thing's so prehistoric looking. And you would be right, these things are ancient. And I'm not saying like, oh, the dinosaurs or oh, before the dinosaurs, like one of the first animals ever to be on land. These guys in millipedes were likely the very first land dwelling animals. And of course, well, this guy would have to come after something because all centipedes are carnivorous. So this was likely, possibly, the first ever predator on land. And even though we don't have the absolute monsters that we did back in the day, this thing's a pretty, this thing uh, makes a solid argument for uh, the past still being with us. All right, it's time to see just how big this thing is. This is an absolute monster. I don't see myself seeing one bigger than this anytime soon. I've never, I had no inclination a centipede in America could come close to this big, but I'm gonna measure it. Now, a lot of people say they reach 12 inches, crazy lengths, and I wanna see just how true that is. I know this guy isn't gonna reach 12 inches, but we're gonna see, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can push eight. I really wanna see an eight inch centipede. So I'm gonna try and straighten this guy out as much as possible and see just how big it is with this measuring tape. If this thing breaks right now, I'm so screwed. He's literally sitting on the on the lid. If that thing opened, oh my God. I'm gonna say body is eight inches long. I'm, I'm trying to curve it around, trying to guesstimate as much as I can. And if we include his long prickly legs on the back, it's gonna be even bigger. That is a freaking gargantuan centipede. I cannot believe we found this tonight. I am so freaking hyped. What an amazing animal. This thing is the stuff of so many people's nightmares, stuff of my nightmares. When I saw this thing, I had no idea how I was gonna catch it without getting bit. A snake, I can, I can handle any snake in the world if I have the right tools, but this thing, I cannot grab it. I cannot risk anything with this guy. Because if I were to get bit tonight, I have no cameraman. I am unfathomably shafted. I would have to drive to a hospital in extreme pain. I'd probably have to spend the night here if I'm gonna be honest, cause I don't think I'd be able to drive with the levels of pain I'd have going on. I'd have to call some people to get me. This thing would ruin your night. And with how camouflaged he is in that grass, you see these colors, you, you'd think you'd see him pretty easily. But holy crap, this thing, you could just step right on it and have no idea. All right, I don't know the next time I'm gonna have a Texas red-headed centipede, the biggest centipede in the US next to me. So I'm gonna try and take some cool pictures. I'm going to release them out of this container. I need to take B-roll shots anyway, but uh, I wanna put my hand next to it. I wanna show you guys just truly compared to me, cause of course you guys can, you know, see through this, it's freaking giant. But uh, 
need a thumbnail, need a really solid peachy thumbnail. So I'm gonna try and have this guy crawl on the ground and try and put my hand relatively close to it just to put it in perspective of how big this thing is. Could backfire terribly, could get bit, but uh, anything for that click-through ratio, baby. So uh, let's see what happens. Once I released this guy, I knew I only had a few chances to get this shot before it disappeared into the undergrowth. So I carefully snuck my hand right next to that venomous animal and got my money shot. But the exhilaration I felt having my hand that close to such an intimidating animal left me wanting more. There's such a negative stigma around centipedes. People think that they'll go out of their way to cause someone harm, so I wanted to put that to the test and see just how willing this centipede was to bite me. My first test was to put my hand in its walking path and see if it would strike or just simply ignore it. So with my heart racing a mile a minute, I put my body on the line to see just how aggressive this animal really was. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh my god, why am I so stupid? That was so cool. That was insane. To have extremely painful venom literally just millimeters from my skin as one of the freakiest looking animals just glides over my hand was just an indescribable feeling. I thought that such a big centipede was gonna feel heavy on my hand, but since that weight was effortlessly distributed between so many legs, it felt like a nice light breeze rolling across my skin. It was cool to have this animal not even react to my presence and just see me as part of the environment, but that didn't really answer my question. What would the centipede do if it knew I was a human and a potential threat? Would it still ignore me? Well, I put my hand into place and I could already tell this test was going to be a lot different. Holy crap, that was nerve shattering. When he was flicking up, sensing the air, he, he knew I was a human, he could tell. I disguised didn't fool him. Holy crap, that was nerve wracking. That was probably the most intimidated I've ever been in my entire life. Seeing him rear up like that and detect me was just nerve shattering beyond belief. You could literally see my body trying to instinctively pull away, but my brain just forced my hand to stay. And I'm so glad that it did. What an experience. I hope this goes to show that even though centipedes are freaky looking, they're not the human attacking monsters many people see them as. Just be respectful around them and you'll be fine. This encounter definitely got me hyped for working with some more real freaky looking invertebrates. So stay tuned as I travel to find the biggest and baddest bugs this country has to offer.